Bloodborne is one of the most critically acclaimed games of the PS4 era, and despite being a decade old this year, it remains very talked about online and has had a massive influence on the Souls-like subgenre of its action RPGs. One of the best games of 2023 was Lies of P, which simply wouldn't exist if not for Bloodborne. But with Sony's first party lineup for the next few years looking a bit dry, aside from Insomniac's upcoming Marvel games, the discourse surrounding the potential re-release of Bloodborne has gotten louder, and there have actually been a number of recent leaks from rather trustworthy sources that could give us a better idea for how long we're going to be waiting for the next Bloodborne. So let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a new Bloodborne coming to the PS5 or PC. Drop a like on this video and let's get into it. Now before I get into the importance of a new version of Bloodborne, let's first establish how popular Bloodborne was. According to official reports, Bloodborne sold over 7.4 million copies on the PlayStation 4, and it's considered by many to be the best game from software has ever developed. Yes, depending on who you ask, it's even better than Elden Ring. Since Bloodborne dropped, Sony has also released the remake of Demon Souls on the PS5, which was a massive hit selling over 1.4 million copies in its first year. And of course, a couple years ago, there was the smash hit known as Elden Ring, which by far was From Software's most successful game to date, selling over 20 million copies to date. Even From Software's less popular recent title, Armored Core 6, it managed to sell roughly 3 million copies. And this is proving that people will flock to anything with From Software's name on it, especially if it's a Souls-like video game. It's also extremely important to hammer home just how popular Souls-like games are on PC. In case you didn't know, Souls-like are believed to be way more popular on Steam than they are on the PlayStation or the Xbox, or even potentially combined. It's believed that Elden Ring sold over 10 million copies on Steam alone in its first two weeks. And at the time that I'm recording this video, there are over 10,000 people still playing Dark Souls Trilogy, and over 40,000 people playing playing Elden Ring at this moment. Souls games are huge on Steam, so it's hard to believe that Sony will ignore the market for so long. A PC port of Demon Souls would surely top up the charts, but the main game that people want is Bloodborne. And can you blame PC players for how bad they want it? Bloodborne is arguably the best Souls-like ever made, but it's still not on the platform that plays the most Souls-like games. That's just a wild fact of life to me. But with all that established, let's get into the leaks regarding the remake for Bloodborne. That is intended to be the update to the original game's visuals and performance, while also bringing the game to the modern PlayStation 5 hardware, as well as bringing it to the PC. But before I break that down, I wanted to let you guys know that at 80,000 subscribers, we will be giving away a PS5 and a game of your choice. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel with all your notifications turned on so you never miss a future upload, and also tweet me proof that you're actually subscribed, and we will be picking the winner at 80,000 subs. So now that we've got that out of the way, in case you've completely been out of the loop, several gaming insiders have reported that the development of Bloodborne is similar to Demon Souls. It hasn't been confirmed if it's actually Demon Souls remake team that's doing the Bloodborne remake, but it seems to be following the same success of Demon Souls remake that ended up on the PlayStation 5. Sony wanted to get started on another From Software property in their lineup. Most who buy into this theory generally expect Sony to announce the remake within the next year or two, and then release it somewhere in 2025 or even late 2026. But just the other day, an update on these leaks started circulating the internet, and let's just say the internet wasn't happy about it. In early February 2024, a reliable leaker hopped on Reset Era and started talking about what they'd recently heard about the Bloodborne remake. According to the new leaks, Bloodborne's remake is actually still in the planning stages and isn't even close to being released. In fact, the leaser also said that the window of opportunity to get this onto the PlayStation 5 has solidly closed, and now the team is planning on building it for the PlayStation 6. The leaker confirms that Bluepoint, the studio who did the Demon Souls remake, is potentially the developer, but it's also not 100% because apparently, according to this leaker, Bluepoint was actually signed onto the project at one point, but the game may or may not have been handed off to a different studio so that Bluepoint could focus on other things. At this moment, it's believed that Bluepoint is currently working on two games, one remake and one original, so it's not out of the question for them to be assigned to the Bloodborne remake, especially since they did such a good job on the other From Software remakes. But then again, Sony is ultimately the one that's calling the shots here, and they've been very hesitant to put up any money towards Bloodborne, so I actually wouldn't be surprised if Sony told them to remake one of their most popular franchises. And remember, it was leaked the other day that there is a remake of Uncharted 1 in development right now, but it has not yet been confirmed that Naughty Dog is the one making it. With how busy Naughty Dog has been up to this point with The Last of Us Online and whatever their new IP is called. And also, it was just confirmed up to this point that The Last of Us 3 is actually in development. So I honestly don't think they'll be the ones that are making the Uncharted 1 remake. So could Bluepoint actually be the one tasked with remaking 
making the first Uncharted game. Well, given how good they are with remaking Sony games, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. But that leaves the original game that Bluepoint is to believe to be working on, which some have actually speculated that it's actually Bloodborne 2. And I honestly think that's just some serious hopium. Bluepoint games have had a very wide history when it comes to the kind of games they develop. So I don't think that necessarily it means their original game is going to be like a Souls-like game at all. Sure, Bluepoint is known for making Demon Souls remake, but they've also made the Shadow of the Colossus remake, and they've previously worked on the remasters of Uncharted and the Metal Gear Solid games, as well as some of the God of War games. They definitely have a lot under their belt, and just because their last game was a Souls-like doesn't necessarily mean that their original game is going to be that one as well. And on top of that, do you think that anyone other than From Software is actually going to be developing the Bloodborne sequel? There's just no way that From Software would pass that torch. Like, it's just... It, it, it'd be crazy to think that. Now, one thing that is absolutely baffling regarding Sony's handling of Bloodborne is the fact that according to several trusted insiders, there is actually a movie adaptation apparently in the works. And according to Daniel RPK, who has leaked many things correctly in the past, Sony Pictures has not only greenlit the movie adaptation of Bloodborne, but they've also hired a producer and Darren Lemke as the lead writer. And the producer that is heading the project of Bloodborne has also worked on films such as Transformers, as well as huge other big budget projects like the G.I. Joe movies, as well as movies like Red 1 and Red 2, and the extremely underrated Constantine movie from 2005. So this guy has a lot of experience with big budget movies with tons of special effects and crazy action sequences. Now, does that actually sound in line with a Bloodborne film adaptation? Because to me, it kind of makes me nervous, but I guess we'll have to see. Now, Sony has really been trying to bring their video game properties to TV and the big screen, and so far it worked well. The Last of Us was on HBO and was a huge hit. It. The Gran Turismo movie did surprisingly well, and the Twisted Metal show on Peacock did way better than anyone actually expected it to do. So it does make total sense for Sony to want to do a film adaptation of one of their other properties. Sure, Bloodborne isn't really the easiest material to adapt into a movie, but I can at least see the logic behind the decision to green light it in the first place. But I will say when it comes to the people that Sony is actually hiring for the project, I do worry that they're going to try to turn Bloodborne into this huge, big, loud, CGI-filled blockbuster action movie and then just smack a PG-13 rating on it. I'm really hoping that Sony understands that. You just can't take Bloodborne and then dumb it down appropriate for the younger audiences. It's just not possible. What do you guys think about the future of Bloodborne? It does seem that From Software's schedule may be easing up with the release of the Shadow of the Earth Tree right around the corner. And the fact that From Software confirmed back in October that they had multiple other new projects in development, but they really just didn't want to comment on the projects that they're actually making. They're almost certainly going to make a sequel to Elden Ring and Armored Core seven it'll for sure be interesting to see what they cook up for us but now when it comes to the preservation of bloodborne one it seems like we're gonna have to be waiting until the playstation 6 generation to experience it again now will that be after the release of bloodborne 2 at this point it's absolutely possible let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below definitely don't forget to enter that ps5 giveaway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video this has been zach i'll catch you in the next one